Studying and training Chishi is studying and training Gojiri Karate. It's an important facet of what makes our karate unique. Onigashimas, welcome back to the Gojiri Karate Center. First things first, today's class is on Chishi, um, a very, very uh, basic kind of kata. And the kata is derived from Morohigo Wana Sensei's book, uh, Traditional Okinawan Gojiri Karate, Volume 1, uh, published in the 1970s. And what we've done is we've taken those photos uh, of the Chishi exercises and streamed them together into a kata. The reason for this, it gives everybody something to take home that they can work on, covering a variety of exercises that will allow them to progressively become better at chishi. First question is, what is chishi? Chishi essentially is a training or energy stone. It is a lever weight. For the purposes of demonstration today, I will be utilizing a small chishi. This chishi has a weight of one kilogram and has a very short shaft. Uh, my chishi are all plate weights that have been fitted to wooden handles with a long screw. But your chishi can also be made from concrete with a wooden handle with spikes through it, etc. I like these because years ago we had all the concrete chishis and what used to happen was the concrete would chip away and break away and you ended up with bits of concrete lying all over the dojo. When these chip or break away, all we have is flax of paint, which we can easily vacuum and clean up. And we can always touch these up. So for the purpose of today's training, I will be utilizing a small chishi. My regular chishi that I normally train with weighs five kilograms and has a longer shaft. The shaft is about 38 mil thick and is a, is a little bit of a monster especially as you get into the idea of chishi training. Um, people often ask, what's the ideal weight? If you're an adult, I would work with something like this to control the weight. The closer your hand is to the weight, the easier it is to maneuver. The further away, the more leverage and torque you're going to require. And as you require more torque, you're going to be working the muscles a lot more. It can always be upsized. And this one weighs approximately 8.8 .8 kilograms or 20 pounds. And we have two 10 pound weights at the end with a very long screw through a similar wooden handle. Um, I have one student in the dojo who is powerful enough to utilize this. Um, so this is what we work with. Volume is the, the slave driver in chishi training because you, you don't do eight reps like you do in the gym. And uh, we don't concentrate on doing exercises that look like gym exercises we concentrate on doing the chishi exercises per se. Should you not have something to utilize, um, a suggestion as an alternative is some form of club hammer or sledgehammer on a reasonably long shaft. You can even use a full length shaft. We do have double handed chishi exercises, etc., that you can do with a very long chishi or a long weight. But most of the time, if you have a club hammer, you can see I've got a slightly longer shaft on mine, but even if it's only a short shaft and you've got a reasonably heavy club, it is a good starting point to work with if you do not have a proper chishi at home or you're in the process of acquiring or making a chishi. So this is an alternative. It works just as well, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, so our chishi cutter, I'm going to go through it very slowly, and we're going to do everything on the right side and then move to the left side. And along the way, I might change angle so you can see what my body is doing. Firstly, we have a safety check. Is there a screw? Are the washers intact? Is the weight suitably attached? No cracks, uh, no cracks, no splinters, nothing of that sort coming off the handle that can hurt me. All right? Chishi is good. I place it in front of me on my right-hand side. Step forward, double block, same as Sanchin. Chamber, reach down, grab the chishi towards the end of the shaft, shift the foot back. I'm just going to center myself a little bit more. Bring the chishi up, round, turn, and drop. I'd like my arm extended. Okay, now as I go up, take the chishi behind my back 
as I bring it in, I'm going to bring a tight pull to the chamber, and as I drop, extend my arm. Next exercise, straight back, straight down. Then I'm going to drop the chi to the inside. I'm going to rotate to behind the shoulder and bring it down. Come up, drop to the outside. So I go through the chest block position, round behind the shoulder and down. And then I'm going to do bigger turn, so I'm going to go to the inside, all the way around, 360, and then up and down. Go the other way, so drop, go all the way around to the center, turn and drop. And drop the chishi between my legs. I'm going to swing it up. Okay, the ball swing it slightly higher than my shoulder, raise the chishi to vertical, drop, sink, stabilize. Now I'm going to do the, one of the exercises from earlier, but I'm going to extend my chest a little bit forward and down. Second hand above the first hand. Two hands. Back and down. Rotate the chi chi in your hands by squeezing. It's a, a grip strength exercise. So we're going to turn it, but I'm going to let the chi chi drop slightly forward. You, the reason for this is if it's the bigger weight, you end up hitting yourself with the plate weight in the face. Then extend the arms and press out. Invert it and extend out again and out back to this position. I haven't raised and lowered my body through these exercises. I'm now going to drop the chi chi, raise my legs, change my grip around. I might extend this hand a little further down the shaft, drop, lean forward, look up, extend the chi chi behind me. Come back, yep, straight rotation on the hip joint there. Bring the chi chi up, change my grip. So. Change my grip, step with the left foot. Left hand is doing zuki, punch, so you rotate. One, shift yourself back to Sanjan Dutch and execute turning palm or hikiuke to chamber. From there, change your grips. So now left hand moves down. So simply change the grip, drop, one. First exercise. In, tight, out. Straight back, straight arm, drop. To the inside, 180 degrees, half a circle, down. To the outside, behind the shoulder, down. Full, 360, right around, and down. The other way around, all the way around, down. From there, drop the chi chi, raise it up like a kettlebell swing, drop and stabilize. Okay, extend the back a little bit, and down, second hand, down. Remember the weight to the front a little bit, wind it in. Tighten and extend. Invert, extend, and back. Raise yourself up, change the grips. Drop, straight in the back, look up, 45. Extend the arms, rotate the hip, bring it to this position. Change the grip, 45 degrees. Right hand does the punching action, rotate. Back, hikyuke, down, and one, two, three. So this is our chishikata, and it covers probably 75 to 80% of the core exercises you see with chishi. One of the important things to note 
is that occasionally during our testing, we ask black belts to show us their understanding of chishi. And every now and then we find somebody who takes exercises like bicep curl, does a bicep curl, or tricep extension, or tricep extension. Yes, these are good exercises, but their linkage to our karate is very, very small, if not non-existent. So my advice is look at the chishi exercises and try and see where they fit into your karate, because essentially, studying and training chishi is studying and training gojiri karate. It's an important facet of what makes our karate unique. Okay? So, we're not just gymming, we're not doing what South Africans would call boot training, um, or brew training, you might have if you're in another part of the world. We're actually training to try and develop the specific muscles that we require for for our training. I'm going to turn sideways, run through a couple of the exercises again so that you can see my body position and hopefully my posture. So, breathing, so that you can hear the synchronization, but it does not need to be audible. Repetitions. In this case, I've just done the kata with one repetition. Normally, once you've got the kata, three, five, ten repetitions per exercise, or take out sections and train the individual sections, uh, 10, 20 reps. Or if you like to be a sadist like me, only two reps after you're exhausted. So do the exercise, feel, ah, okay, now I'm tired, then the last two reps, just to get that little bit extra. Okay, again, very small weight, for demonstration purposes only, my regular chishi when I'm fit and healthy and not sick, five kilograms on a shaft like this. Okay, that is our chishi kata. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Sayonara. <laughs>